To get the most out of this video, we suggest that you open your Blackboard course in one browser window and this video in another. Try pausing the video now and then while you're watching it and practicing some of the navigation tips. Navigating your course in Blackboard Learn. Blackboard is a type of application called a learning management system that provides students and faculty with 24-7 online access to course materials, grades, activities, and assessments. Blackboard is used by all of the Connecticut State Universities and community colleges. Blackboard is used in classroom-based courses as well as in courses that are fully online or a hybrid of online and on-ground instruction. This video will help you prepare to use the system, find resources that will help answer your questions, and show you some helpful navigation shortcuts. Logging into Blackboard. Connecticut Community College's students log into Blackboard through a portal website called MyComNet. Connecticut State University's students will find links on their college websites that will enable them to log into Blackboard. Once you log into Blackboard, you'll land on a page that will display some tabs and perhaps some buttons that lead to sub-tabs as well. On this landing page, you may also see a number of boxes called modules that can display many different types of information. One of the modules you'll see will be labeled either My Courses or Course List. This module will provide links to all of the courses in which you are enrolled. Be sure to check your list of courses carefully. Some colleges and universities automatically enroll students and faculty into orientation courses. Here are a few quick tips to help you avoid problems while working in Blackboard Learn. There can be some differences in the way you view a course depending upon the web browser you're using, the version of the browser, and your own personal browser settings. If you're presented with a security warning like this one, be sure to always click the Run button. Never just cancel out of it. Connecticut Community College students, please note, once you have logged into Blackboard, we recommend that you bring the MyComNet window forward, log out, and close the window. This will prevent timeout messages from MyComNet, which can interfere if you take an online test in Blackboard. To access online help, click the Navigation Panel drop-down, and then click the Help icon at the bottom of the panel. Navigating Blackboard Learn Courses I'll begin by clicking the title of one of the courses in my course list. In this sample course, students view the course announcements immediately upon entering. However, other instructors may choose to have students land on a different course entry page. For example, your instructor may have you land on a page that looks like this one, that in this course is labeled Student Alerts. As you can see, this page has little boxes called Modules, labeled To Do or What's New. No matter what page you see when you first enter a course, you'll always see a course menu to the left with buttons that enable you to navigate to other areas or tools in the course. You can always get back to the entry page of a course by clicking on the small home icon up above the course menu. If your instructor is using the messages tool, be sure to check it each time you enter the course. Depending upon the school that you attend, there may also be a My Messages module that you'll see on the opening Blackboard page, which enables both students and faculty to navigate directly to the message inbox of courses that contain unread messages. From the Course Messages tool, I'll return to the course entry page by clicking the Home icon above the menu. To collapse or expand the course menu, mouse over the vertical bar to the right of the course menu and then click on the bar or on the left pointing arrow. This collapses the course menu and enables you to see more of your course content. To expand the menu again, just mouse over the bar and click one more time. Now the menu has been expanded. These small icons up above the menu change the menu display. For example, right now I'm in List View. I can also view the menu in Folder View, which allows me to navigate directly to other content right from the menu. Clicking the small plus and minus signs enables you to easily navigate to anything in the course in just a few clicks. 
To switch back to List View, I just click the icon above the menu. Instructors can hide some of these menu options if they wish, so you may not see them in every course. Courses will often include a menu button that provides access to the course syllabus, and there may also be other important information included on this page as well. I just clicked to open up the syllabus, which happens to be in PDF format. If I wanted to open up this PDF in a new tab or a window, I can always click up at the top on this link. Alternately, you can always right-click on any link and from the drop-down select Open in a new tab or in a new window in your browser. Now let's explore the course content. To do this, I'll click this button labeled Course Materials. Each instructor can organize their own course and label their menu buttons however they wish, but many courses do follow a structure similar to the ones shown here. Now, some faculty use folders to organize their course content, while others use learning modules. I'll show you what both of these organizing methods look like in this sample course. If I open this Unit 1 folder, I can scroll vertically from top to bottom to view everything in the folder. There can be subfolders within the main folder. If I open a subfolder, notice the navigation links up at the top of the window here. These are called breadcrumbs. I can click these breadcrumb links to go back one level to the Unit 1 folder. If I click the link up at the top on the breadcrumbs called Course Materials, I'm back on the Course Materials page. Next, I'm going to click on the icon that will open a learning module. Notice the difference between the icons indicating a folder and a learning module. This learning module contains essentially the same content that was in the folder we looked at before, but learning modules include a table of contents in a frame on the left. This is the main difference between folders and learning modules. The table of contents makes it easy to scan from the top to the bottom and see how everything in the entire module is organized. Learning modules can also contain subfolders. You can collapse and expand these subfolders by clicking the little plus or minus signs. Clicking on a link will take you directly to that page in the module, or in some cases it may launch the content in a new tab or window in your web browser. For example, if I click on this website link, I see a link that will then open the website in a new tab in my browser. Depending upon your browser settings, it may open in a new window. If I close this tab, I'm back in the Blackboard Learning Module. You can use these little buttons up above the table of contents to minimize the table of contents, maximize it, or even move it to the bottom, but we recommend keeping it to the left. What if you have a folder or learning module open, but you also want to open up a tool such as discussions or messages? No problem. For example, I have a learning module open, but I want to open the Messages tool to send a message to the instructor. I'll just right-click on the Messages button in the menu and select Open Link in a new tab. Now, if I click on the new tab, I've got the Messages tool available to me, and I can click back and forth between the two tabs to go from the tool back to the learning module. Many instructors use the Discussions tool in Blackboard, as well as Journals or Blogs. I've clicked on the Discussion Board button, and as I scroll down, you can see that the course has three forums, Course Questions, Unit 1 Discussion, and Unit 2 Discussion. The description box gives you information about what's going to be discussed in that particular discussion forum. To read posts or contribute to a forum, you can either click on the link to the forum or you can click on the Unread Posts button. In this example, I'll click on the link to the forum title. Next, I'll click the Expand All button so I can see all of the posts and threads. To see all of the related posts for a particular thread, I simply click on the very top level the first post for a particular topic called a thread. Now I can read the whole conversation related to this particular discussion thread. To reply to somebody else's post, simply click the Reply button. The content editor will display, and then you can type your response. I'll use the breadcrumbs to return to the top level of this forum. If I wanted to start a new topic, I would click the Create Thread button. I'll type in my post and click Submit. Now I've started a whole new topic in this discussion. If you don't see the Create Thread button, your instructor has probably set up the discussion in a way that only enables students to reply to the instructor's posts. 
Last, but certainly not least, clicking the My Grades button on the menu is where you can go to check on how you're doing in the course. Remember, each instructor has their own approach to grading, so if you have questions, be sure to ask for clarification about the course's grading policies. We hope this video has helped familiarize you with how to navigate in your Blackboard courses.